So if there's something yes. you'd like, I'm not going to have um, a service. One, mojito, two, please. Mojito. <laughs> <laughs> Gosh, you ladies are so easy. I love it. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to be sharing with you guys what we are up to today. We won't just be going to a wine farm but we're also going to go to a fine dining restaurant um, here in Cape Town and it's absolutely known for their spices and their overall atmosphere. I know it's going to be amazing and I'm going to share with you guys exactly what we're up to there. Um, but first let's let's start off with the wine farm. So the wine farm that we chose for today is JC LaRue. Now JC LaRue is uh, a very very well known wine experience and wine farm in Cape Town and I know that a lot of the time I don't necessarily prefer going to these wine farms because it's so well known so it's always packed with people but it is a week's day so I think it's going to be better um, and uh, yeah I'm, ex I'm excited to see what they have in store we're going to be doing some few tastings I know they have a cheesecake and wine um, tasting which I think is going to be the one for me and then they also have a nougat and a wine pairing and yeah I, I think they have another option but I'm not sure which one it is but I am very excited to be sharing with you guys um, that experience and then we'll also be going to a piece which is a fine dining restaurant in front Rook in cape town and uh, i'm very excited to see what they have to offer i know with fine dining and what my experience is for fi with fine dining it's always a big um it's a big love for food and it's always a big performance where people show and what they have to share about food and the, it's it's just absolutely amazing so anyway let us let me stop talking and let me show you what we are up to so yeah stay tuned for more here we go
Wow, guys. Okay, so now you can see exactly what we went through today. It was an experience of a lifetime, and I'm so, so happy and grateful to be able to experience these things and share it with you guys so that you can also know what to expect if you are looking to visit these places. So let's start off with the wine farm, uh, JC LaRue. It was it was really, really great. And honestly, from my from my point of view and what, what I thought I was going to get, um, I was really pleasantly surprised with the service. It wasn't too busy. There was a a group of a big group of people but they sat inside and we sat outside um, the weather was very pleasant it was sunny so we sat outside it was so great and the service was quite good um, I won't say it was like the best I, I, I you know I've previously I've experienced more um, better service in the, in the sense of people put their passion into their work and that's what I like to see that's just my personal preference I know a lot of people they go to wine tastings and they just like to have the wine have a short description and then go but um, for me what I my personal preference is when people come and they share their love for it and they share more history and they give you more than what is expected so for me I think I could have done with a little bit more service um, when it comes to the wine tastings and experience the wines and what it, you know the whole story behind each wine because I know there's always a story behind it um, but I must say the tasting itself was really great and up to scratch like it was it was it was really good um, the the we had some cheesecakes they had the normal cheesecake and then they had the I think it was the bar one cheesecake and then the strawberry cheesecake and all of them were really good um, it was baked cheesecake so those are my favorites they are nice and dense and packed with flavor and also the bubbles that we tasted with it it was great um, they had a nice brew there I really enjoyed it we bought bottles of bubbles as well and just overall it was a great experience and a great tasting um, I was also I was also kind of expecting because that was actually my first time being there because I know it's it's sometimes it can be a commercial wine farm so it was my first time being to, at JC LaRue and for me I was um, surprised by how little they they incorporated like all of the commercial stuff like there was a big sign JC LaRue and that's where you see a lot of photos from JC LaRue but um, overall it was more of a natural feel which which is also great because I don't like all the banners and the very commercial things I also want to go there for for the nature and for the wine and just keep things simple that's also just a personal preference so overall that was a that was a great experience and then in the evening we had a booking for a piece um, this is also a kind of new restaurant in Franschhoek uh, I think they said they opened up in 20 19 so they coped during lockdown they were still brand new and they coped during lockdown and their food was incredible for fine dining um you know the the standard is always high with fine dining you expect the best and oh my goodness did we get the best the service there was so great they started off with bringing us some amazing cocktails they literally make the cocktail in front of you and they they explain to you you know how much they put in and how to make it and they they take you through the whole process and that is something that's really special um, and every for every dish basically there was like a person in charge of all the drinks and then when there was a person in charge of all the food and then there was a different person with um, desserts I think but uh, there was like there was a bunch of people th that were always there and and they they that person had their job and they like their main thing that they are passionate about and that came through during the whole course of the evening now that was something that was quite special to me because I'm always so used to having one waiter and they you know they serve us and they give us the the, the service and and everything but um, with a piece it was really great because you get to meet more people and there was actually a, a part in the evening where they asked us to go and meet the kitchen staff and they um, took us through the whole process they said okay this is your head chef this is the um this is the person in charge of this and that and they took you through the whole person we actually met these people and that was incredible and not to mention the head chef is something like 28 years old um it's a lady she's 28 and she just you can see like she's running this place so so if you're that lady I, i'm just saying like hats off to you because you are doing an amazing incredible job so yeah and the food obviously 
with fine dining you expect the best as i said previously but um this was really great they had one specific dish that stood out for me and that was their savory dessert um i'm i'm someone who has a big sweet tooth and my mom uh, ordered the savory dessert and she absolutely loved it we all had more of hers than what we had of our own although ours was also re really great um so that was something really special and i hope you guys enjoyed the videos and the photos it was an incredible experience and i would highly recommend if you're in front row make sure you take the time to go to EPs um, it's spelled like spice but instead of a s it's a e so that's how I remember it because I know they are known for their spice and also a big thing that made this place so unique is at the end you play a little game where they give you these um, chocolate um, eggs it looks like eggs and then you um, eat the chocolate and then you have to guess what's the main spice in that little chocolate so they had cardamom and then they had two others but it's also on the video because I can't remember sometimes you know when you go to a place and it's so overwhelming that you get home and you were like I can't actually remember what happened because everything was brand new and everything was so overwhelming so that's why that's also why I decided to make this YouTube channel so that I can also have something to remember everything by so yeah guys that is it it was an incredible experience I don't know how we're going to top it but I hope you guys enjoyed the content if you have any recommendations um, please let me know I'm so excited to be sharing with this all with you guys i'm so privileged and i'm so grateful and i'm grateful for every single one of you who are watching my videos i know this is still brand new so i'm also still finding my feet but I, but I appreciate every single one of you and um yeah i look forward to making the next one have an amazing day and we'll chat soon mm -hmm.